So I was planning on waking up this morning, and like reading some more, or maybe editing my video that I never finished from day four, or day five. <laughs> but instead, my husband's like, let's play Uno! <laughs> so. I like Uno. We're playing some breakfast, Uno. <laughs> I'm editing a video of me, editing a video of me. All right, it's now one o'clock, and since I last talked to you, I have taken a shower, finished editing, exporting, and uploading my day four vlog, eaten lunch, and finished this book right here. Woohoo! We are going to get out of here. I'm going to bring my Kindle, since now I have the case for it, uh, so I could get started on the remaining few books that I need to read. I am also bringing this lovely hat with me today because uh, I don't have many days left <laughs> to complete the, oh lovely, the hat challenge. So, um, since the remaining books that I have are short ones, um, I'm bringing the hat with me, so I'm prepared. All right, here is proof that I am reading The Maze Runner Files while wearing the ridiculous hat. It's not ridiculous, it looks fantastic. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it is functional, <laughs> elegant, mm -hmm. and 99 cent store. Yeah, and cheap. <laughs> the good news is I finished... Yep, that's it. The good news is I finished the maze room. Finish the Maze Runner files, and the good news. Did you not spoil my? <laughs> <laughs> the good news is I finished the Maze Runner files on my Kindle right here, so I don't have to wear the silly hat anymore. The bad news is my spouse is demanding that I continue to wear this stupid hat for the duration of our walk. That we're I think going it's right fitting. Now. I think it fits your face. What are we talking about? And it's going to shield you from the sun. It's no, it is not. It's made of paper, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah, it has holes in Yeah. No, that's, no, that's 100% UV protection. Oh, Change of plans. We did start going on a walk. The poor little Miss Persephone fell down. She got a good cut. We had to use a bunch yeah. of butterfly stitches yeah. to get on the car. So now we know the story gets more butterfly advantages. How about butter Fresh butterflies on there? And we just get butterfly kisses. <laughs> Persephone. Can you butterfly kiss it? Yeah, you might get some blood kisses. on your on your eyelashes. <laughs> Is rock really strong? Yes. What's stronger, rock or body? Yeah. <laughs> the picture challenge for today is to take a picture of three books. Two books you have read and one book you haven't read. And let people guess which is which. So I was looking at my shelf and I tend to turn a lot of my favorites books uh, face forward on my shelf. So when I was looking at uh, books on my shelf, I noticed that quite a few of them were red, white, and black. So, two of these books here are one of my favorites, and one I have not read yet. Try to guess which one's which, and at the end of the video I will tell you what the correct answer is. So today's video challenge is matching spine poetry. I've done book spine poetry before, but not matching book spine poetry. It makes it a little more difficult. You have one minute to find books with the same spine color and then you have three minutes, I believe, to turn that into a poem. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go destroy our bookshelf, shall we? Okay. Okay, there's my minute. <laughs> now I have three minutes to try to turn this mess into a poem. This is the poem I would write anyways. As you can see, I went with a black spine theme, and my poem is Gone Girl Running with Scissors, Twisted Crank, Sharp Objects Cut You, Can't Look Away, You Belong to Me, Sugar, Await Your Reply. It's a dark poem! What else do you expect with dark spines? And I'm not at all upset about the fact that I destroyed my bookshelves for this. <laughs> 
They're so bad. You should see how many of my my books are just tipped over. Oh, Jaws. I forgot about Jaws. There's a black spine. I could have worked that somewhere in there. Where would you put Jaws in this poem? Or the vagina monologues? <laughs> Just in case I forget to mention at the very end of the video what my favorites were. This one is one of my favorites called The Beautiful Land. This one is one of my favorites. I refuse to tell you what it's about. <laughs> this one I have not read, which is very surprising to me and probably to everyone else on Booktube. So, those are my three books. Final update for today. I read 41 pages of Binti, finishing it. And I read 50 pages of The Maze Runner Files, which was the entirety of it. And I started from Ash and read 11 pages of that. And I finished um, two books. So I'm up to five books now. And as far as challenges, today I completed challenge number four, which is read a book with green on the cover. And challenge number five, which is to read a book while wearing a hat. I might count Benti as challenge number two which is a read a book of something you want to do, because I want to go to space, and Binti went to space. So, I might switch Binti out for the Girling Up book. That was in my original TBR. I also did my picture challenge and the video challenge. I have not finished the Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I don't know, I don't know when I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see about that tomorrow. <laughs> oh, or tonight. I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.